What's going on YouTube, man? So this video is gonna be about, you know what I'm saying, how you stay awake on watch. Like, how do I do it? How do other people do it? Um, it's not easy. It's, it's really easy to say, man, just stay in a proper watch and just keep your eyes open and do what you gotta do. But uh, some days it gets like, man, how do I, how do I make it through this watch? How do I make it through this watch, man? I stayed up all night, they had me working, they had me doing this, you know what I'm saying? We all probably had those moments where we may or may not have uh, dozed off a little bit on watch. Not a good situation, man. Let's get into the video. So me, I always used to think, man, like not everybody watch is important. Like if I stood on the enlisted brow or I stood on the officer's brow, especially like in my first few years in the Navy, I'm like, man, look, why y'all got me standing all the way over here and they got all those people in front of me? They got the people, they gotta go past the people at the gate, actual police officers, and then you gotta go past the people whose job is to be a military police, right? And then you gotta go past another checkpoint, another checkpoint, just to get to me. And like if you if you got me all the way back here, y'all don't really need all these people here at the enlisted brow. What we doing? We just checking the ID, making sure they good to go again after they already been checked. No big deal. That mentality is the wrong mentality. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. People have literally got shot and killed by being at the enlisted brow where they had somebody who drove up to the ship or whatever they at and they trying to cause harm or trying to gain some access when they not supposed to get some access, man. They do all these terrorist acts. Bro, I'm telling you right now, make sure you take the, those watches seriously and make sure that you awake during them. Like a lot of people do fall asleep during watch and they do get in trouble for it, of course. They'll fall asleep with a with a firearm. They'll fall asleep doing this or doing that. And and psh, Navy don't play about that. Military don't play like that, period. You gotta stay up when you're on watch. Cause you gotta protect us from the spies and you gotta defend our freedom and our assets, period. I got the watch, right? So if I got the watch, that's what that means. I gotta defend, I gotta defend what I need to defend, man. That's my that's my mission at the time. I'm standing to watch. So how I stay awake, man, number one, <laughs> you gotta get your rest. You gotta get your rest. I know, man, being young in the military, we was clubbing every single night, like every single night. But you always gotta make sure you get your rest before that duty day, before work, sober up, get yourself together, make sure your uniform pressed and clean, and you able to perform your duties at the highest level because at the end of the day, we're all adults. Like, I don't wanna hear that, oh man, I'm still a child, man. I just turned 18. Ain't nobody care if you just turned 19, 20, 21, man. Nobody care how long you've been in the military. When you stand on watch, uh, that you are assuming the duties that you under, that you understand. Like, man, this is what I got to do, and I got to do it to the best of my abilities. So make sure you get your rest. Got to make sure you get your rest because if you don't get your rest, I guarantee you that will be the longest watch of your app. Man, it could be four hours. It could be six hours. It could even be a 12 hour watch and you just standing there or you just, you got to rove, you got to walk around, you got to sit down and stand up. You got to actually perform duties, right? So make sure you get your rest for sure. So me personally, I always packed a watch bag. If I was on watch, I had like a little bag where I had everything that I thought I needed, right? I had my snacks, whether that being like trail mix or some fruit snacks, or I had my water bottles, like water. Make sure you drink a lot of water, man. I drunk a lot of water because it kept me moving. Like, you drink water, you gotta pick up the water, you gotta drink the water, you gotta put the water down, you gotta close the top. And then occasionally you get the little bathroom break going on, so you go walk to and from the bathroom, and that definitely, that definitely speed up your watch. And you'd be like, man, look, shoot, I gotta use the bathroom. I've been drinking water, I've been trying to stay hydrated, man. You gotta drink some water. I know a lot of people drunk coffee, but coffee, Coffee don't really sit well with my stomach too well, so I don't really be drinking too much coffee while I'm on watch, but if it works for you, it works for you. Make sure you got some comfortable shoes, man, especially if you're standing like a roving watcher. You got those little gel insoles. Make sure you get some gel insoles. It was a commercial call, are you gelling? Something like that. Make sure you get some gel insoles if you if you feet, if your feet gonna hurt and you know your feet gonna hurt, or if you got like flat feet, make sure you got those inserts to give you some arch. That way you can be able to stand for long periods of time. Cause nobody wanna, Ain't gonna be no sitting down depending on what watch you got. Like you just gonna be standing there, bending your knees, you know what I'm saying, doing some doing some butt kits trying to make sure that your legs stay awake. Cause you don't wanna you don't wanna pass out while you're on watch by uh by locking your knees. That's never a good look. So make sure you got some good good shoes, man, good insoles, and make sure you straight on that. 
Lastly, man, this is this is my last resort. I, I used to drink Rippets and I used to drink um, Red Bulls. I used to drink Monsters, but Monsters got too weak for me. So it'd be like Rippets or Red Bulls while I'm on deployment or I'm underway and I got to stand to watch. I usually drink an energy drink for my last hour. The reason why I say you're your last hour is because I like to have, I like to sleep after my watch, right? So that time between I drink it, by the time I get off watch, it'll be like, it'll be, it'll be pretty good. I'll be good, I'll be good to sleep. So I got Rippets and Red Bulls, man. That'll push me through that last hour. And um, also talk to people, man. Talk to people. If you're not talking to people while you're just standing there, that does make, make the watch a little bit more daunting. I mean, nine times out of 10, you ain't going to dislike every single person that you on watch with. Because like, honestly, you, you're not going to know everybody that you on watch with. Because if you're on a ship, you're going to be standing watch with people from different departments, which means <laughs> you don't know them. So you barely know their name. You just know their name because it's on them. And then so you get to know people that way. That way you can build some um, some camaraderie, you know what I'm saying? Get some get some networking going on. You never know who can help you with what. If you talk to them, you got to talk to people, man. That's what I did. I talked to people. Um, I had comfortable shoes. I had my Red Bulls. I drank my water. And, um, that's, and that's how I stayed up during watch. And make sure you get your rest. First and foremost, you got to get your rest, man. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.